In this video, we're going to address the question of what you should or should not say to a workers' compensation claims adjuster before you hire an attorney. My name is Matt Eason. I've been practicing personal injury and workers' compensation law in Sacramento area for over 25 years. And we're regularly faced with situations where clients have come in and said the wrong thing to an insurance adjuster, and we're having to fix that problem. To understand what you should or should not say to an adjuster before you speak with an attorney, you should understand what their position is in the case and why that matters. An insurance adjuster is the representative of an insurance company, and insurance companies, for the most part, operate as businesses trying to make a profit. And how does a business make a profit? They increase premiums and they reduce expenses. So to the extent that an insurance adjuster can question you in a way to reduce that insurance company's expenses, that insurance adjuster is doing their job for their employer. Doing their job is not beneficial to your case, and as such, be very suspect of what you say and don't say to an insurance adjuster. With that warning and caveat, we're not upset that our clients have spoken with an adjuster early on in the case, as long as the conversation is respectful and limited to very specific issues. After a workers' compensation claim is filed, an insurance company or employer has an obligation to investigate the claim and determine if it's work-related. Consequently, basic questions around how you hurt yourself on the job are generally acceptable. When the questions about how the injury arose turn, though, from the basic big picture item to I was picking up a box into more specific and detailed questions about what you were told to do, what you were told not to do, did you do this, could you have done that, that's the time in the questioning that you should cut off all that discussion and speak with an attorney. Likewise, when the adjuster is asking you questions about your body parts and what was hurt, generic responses to those questions are appropriate. There's nothing wrong with saying you hurt your back versus your foot. Those are logical questions so the adjuster can understand the nature of your claim. The gray area about injury questions is when the adjuster exceeds that scope of what's hurting you now and starts getting into pre-existing injuries or things that might have caused pre-existing injuries. Red flags are when they ask you what you do for your hobby. What did you do in the past? Have you ever been in a car accident before? Those are red flags that they're trying to dig up information adverse to your case, and you should end that conversation right away. An additional red flag that you've gotten into a conversation with an adjuster who's exceeding his or her scope is when they're talking about different body parts. For example, you hurt your arm on the job, you're making a complaint about your arm, and they're asking you to sign a release that will let them get your OB records, that's clearly outside the scope, and that's when you probably should speak with an attorney. Similarly, you hurt your arm, and they're asking you for records about a car accident 25 years ago, that's clearly a red flag that an adjuster is on a hunt to try and find ways to deny your claim, and you should seek an attorney. In short, when you're talking about the accident itself and what gave rise to the injury, very generic, basic questions about what you were doing at the time that hurt your back or hurt your leg or whatever it might be are appropriate. But the more detailed they become, the more the red flag is that you should end that conversation immediately and seek counsel because they're apparently trying to dig to find a different cause. Likewise, if an adjuster sends you a release for records and they haven't limited that release for prior records to your body parts or to a limited time frame such as five or ten years, that's another red flag that the adjuster is looking for something to try and deny your claim with. When you get that type of warnings coming to you, that's when you really should consider reaching out to an attorney. And if that's occurred to you and you've got questions about what you should or should not say to an adjuster going forward, I hope you'll consider contacting one of the attorneys in our office. My name again is Matt Eason. I'm with the law firm of Eason and Tamanini. We're located at 1234 H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. Our phone number is 916-438-1819, and you can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com.